What's going on everybody, Kenny Dubs here with another episode of Digimon World Next Order. Last time, we finished up an EX scenario and we took on Pyildramon. So we have some more things to look at in this city. This time we are going to engage with uh, Kota and Mamayo. One more time, Yukimura. Yeah. Exhaust flame! Come on! You won't get stronger than anybody with an effort like that! They've been like this since I arrived. Training like they're possessed. You can tell just from looking. Yukimura isn't up to this. But even using force, I don't think I could stop them now. I know I'm not setting a great example. But I need to ask you to put a stop to it. Don't try and stop us. This is Yukimura's and my problem to solve. Hey, what's the matter, Yukimura? You done already? No. Not yet. That's right. Do your best, Yukimura. We'll be stronger than anyone else out there. We decided we'd do whatever it takes, even if that means altering our form. Kota, if that's what you want, I'll... Not good. Brace yourself, Yukimura. As long as you don't lose your will, all that power can be yours. <laughs> Yukimura, what are you doing? Knock that curse into submission. <laughs> Why? That's not Machine Draymon. <laughs> Yukimura! I mean, just like typical protagonist fashion, Yukimura did you has a dark evolution, as what they call it in the anime. However, uh, it's not really called Darkness Evolution here, but this is Skull Grim, an ultimate level Digimon. I believe he, it's either Darkness or he's hand to hand, I don't exactly remember. Uh, my notes for this fight say, this fight is hard, so, uh, nice. so, we're gonna EXE. <laughs> and just like previous EXE fights, I'm gonna have to mute the audio again, I'm sorry about it, but, uh, with my current stats, this fight is very, very difficult. Uh, Himari, the Himari fight was a lot easier because I had access to dark moves for it. Um, I could deal with this fight a little bit easier by using, making use of mechanical skills or machine skills uh, because I believe Skullgrimmon's hand to hand. Um, but my stats aren't high enough for this fight. At least with the the other fight with Himari and Rika, I was able to, you know, not get blown away during that fight, right? But this fight in particular, my stats are not quite high enough for it. And it feels like the stat check just ramps up a lot in this. And that's just kind of an overall thing with this game. The, um, the stat checks for fights is just massive in between them. So we have to watch out because Skull Greymon can actually use his finishing move and we don't want to hit with that. So we have to be very careful of that. But because Chaosmon is such a baller, we don't really have to worry about that. And he makes short work of the Skull Greymon. Don't have to worry about it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the the strength and the stamina on my Digimon are quite low compared to what they should be for this fight as I get plus 26 to all of them. I mean, we get Shadowfall. Nice! Hmm. 
Try using my antivirus program one more time, please. It seems effective. That is, I wonder if my auto-learning program is doing even better than I thought it would, if it's working this well. Sorry, just talking to myself. Anyway, we've got other things to worry about. <laughs> Yukimura, I'm sorry. What were you so impatient for? You're not a kid anymore. Didn't you think for a second it might turn out like this? Because I've got nothing. I can't do anything. I just wanted to have something I could be sure about. Our friend here is obviously special. And Himari's so sure of herself. I'm the only one who's just... nothing. It was the same in the real world, too. I mean, not to brag or anything, but... I did great at school and sports, and I could read people pretty well. I'm sure I was the kind of guy people would be jealous of. And of course, I appreciated that. But all the same, when I had to actually think about what I wanted to do in life, I realized I was just empty inside. Everyone would talk about their dreams and goals, and I'd just try and think of a single thing I really wanted to do. I had this vague picture of how I'd enjoy myself. Find some job or other, get married or something, get older, and just have a pretty average, decent life. But suddenly, I felt like my footing wasn't stable anymore, and I started to panic, thinking I had to find something. And that was when I got summoned into the digital world. Here, I finally felt like I was special. I believed there was something only I could do. But it turned out, I was wrong. I was sure of that after I met this tamer. I knew right away that I was just an empty nobody after all. And so I ended up mistreating my partner, the one I was supposed to care for more than anyone. And now, I'm the worst. I'm so stupid, so pathetic. It's true. That was pretty stupid of you. You've got a partner who believes in you and risks all kinds of danger for you, no matter what. A bond so strong that even in altered form, they wouldn't lose sight of who you are. You've got friends who come running to your aid. And you still think you're a nobody? Uh. All this time, you never noticed that you had something no one else has in your hands all along. Uh. <laughs> I guess so, huh? I sure am an idiot. Looks like help came at just the right time. Let's get back to town for now. We need to let Yukimura get some rest. Yeah. Occupational hazard, I guess. He was trying too hard to put up a good front. As cool as he talked, he still relied on you so much. Not that I'm really one to talk. Hope you can give me a pass there. You ought to take a rest, too. I have a feeling things are about to get pretty busy. So, the antivirus program opens up new possibilities for altered Digimon. Fascinating. So that cutscene was um that was something. That was something. Um I didn't mean to do that. So first things first a sticker, Digi Mail. Come back to town. Yukimura has been lost to the BH program, just like Rika. But thanks to you, Kenny Dubs, there was a happy ending. I wanna hold a debriefing meeting, so come over to my home. Uh okay, but instead of that, first actually I don't to pick up these and then we're actually gonna go talk to the two digimon over there on the left to interact with because now that i don't have to worry about running into other digimon it's not as dangerous in this area so let's go over here and talk to these two Has a human come, Blackie? 
Looks like it, Blackasaurus. I figured the human would be running along about now. Hey, human, this is Mod Cape. That view is really nice. This would be a pirate hideout. Now the only traces of them left are the pirate or the ship they abandoned. You can follow the ships and uh, and the bridge to reach an area in the north. To be honest, we used to be pirate apprentices, but they disbanded before we became full-fledged pirates. So now our new goal is to become the strongest of all, and that's why we've been waiting for you. If we could defeat your combination, we'll be famous. That's right. Sorry, but you're going down. And we have a fight with Blackie and Blackasaurus, also known as Black Agumon and Black Gabumon. I don't really have to go over them because we've already owned both of them at one point. Uh, but you can see right here, they're level 20. And I'm doing decent damage to them with my stats right now. <laughs> and my first time playing through this, I talked to them immediately because I was like, oh, cool. You know, Digimon interact with. Little did I know, <laughs> they were threats. Big threats. Ouch. Ah. What the? Right, now that we've warmed up. Yeah, time for the real thing, Blackie. I'm not gonna hold back, Blackasaurus. And we have to fight them again. So, after I got stomped the first time, I came back after I got stronger, as you might imagine. Strong enough to take them on. But I wasn't strong enough to take them on twice in a row. So I got past the first battle, and then lost in the second battle. And it was, uh, it was definitely a harrowing experience because uh, it was at that point I realized stats mean a lot more in this game than your Digivolution stage. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Blackie, can you stand? Blackasaurus, I think so. Ah. Ah. It ain't over till it's over. Don't give up yet. And of course, we have to fight them a third time. <laughs> so, this sequence of fights is really, really cruel. If you were unaware of what this talking to them entails the first time, you just kind of get blindsided by a fight, like, okay, whatever. You come back when you're strong enough to beat them, you're like, alright, well, that wasn't too bad. And you gotta fight them three times in a row, and it's just like, well, why have you done this? Like, what have I done? And at that point, it was at that point during my first playthrough, we're talking to Digimon, just, I'm just like, okay, I can't trust anyone. Like, I saved, I saved so much back when I was live streaming this game. Because of, because of this, ooh, I got Splash. Ah, ah, Blackie, it's impossible. Blackasaurus, I need a break. Well, that was interesting. Indeed. Okay, let's going home. What? Let's Okay. See ya. And yeah. <laughs> so that's why I didn't want to even think about talking to them my first time through the, this area on this playthrough. Because I was well aware of what would happen. Uh, should I opt to do that? Uh, I almost want to go check out the pirate area to see if I can pick up some... Some nice stuff there. But I think... Oh wait, that's right. Did I not come over here? I missed this. Oh. I thought I picked this up. I guess I didn't. All right, well, we'll pick this up and then we'll head back to the city, I guess. All right, cool. All right, now through a portal. Long time no see. Things have finally recovered to the point where we can send and receive video signals again. Thanks to all of you. I can't thank you enough. Still, I can't maintain this for long. Apologies, but let me get straight to the point. First, about the changes to the digital world. As you're aware, all of it stems from the spread of the BH program. I tried to look into ways to solve the problem, 
And that was when I managed to access the territory of this world. Changes in one world can sometimes ripple outward and affect other worlds for the worse. There have been times when the digital world began to creep into the real world, leading to disaster. Normally, that simply means we must address some issues that seem innocuous. But this has spiraled beyond my predictions. The BH program tracked me, and I almost ceased to exist altogether. As I was trying to shake things up, I happened to access the digital world's own self-purification function. Within that process, I discovered a way to digitize humans from the real world and draw them into the digital world. I see. So it was like what happened to me before. It's an emergency measure that the digital world can take in times of crisis, yes. So the fact that we were summoned here was... Yes. It was the will of the digital world. Huh? It was? I guess our connection from that tournament back in fifth grade was just coincidence then. The fact that I'm even able to connect and speak with you is due to your ability to resist the effects of the crisis. But it seems that our only hope against the BH program is for you and the Digimon to combine forces. That's right. We've been pulling our weight, too. We've been working on Mr. Mameo's prototype antivirus program, and it's finally getting close to completion. I hadn't told you about this yet. Well, with everything that happened with Hamari and Koda, I realized my prototype might be more useful than I'd thought. I threw together a new one and gave it to Talmon, complete with the new test data. Yes. That test data was quite useful. An unexpected benefit of Kota and Himari's episodes, perhaps. Uh, uh -huh. You're welcome? It looks like this world chose its helpers well when it summoned you. Only problem left is, how do we spread the antivirus program through the entirety of the digital world? There's a big mesh of underground network cables stretching all over the digital world. If we transmit the antivirus program from server tower, it ought to spread everywhere, no problem. The digital world's network isn't functioning properly right now, though. I suspect that a critical cable may have suffered some damage during that machine Draymon rampage. Simultaneous transmission won't be possible unless we can fix it. Then we'll need to pinpoint the damaged area. Let's ask Digimon from all over for information. Guess we've just got to tackle one problem at a time. Isn't that right? I'll gather information as well. I may not be able to operate freely just yet, but I can at least send Digimail. Second. We're back, Kenny Dubs. I have good news. Pyeljermon has come back to Flodia. He went to the Digivolution Dojo. Something about DNA Digivolution sounds exciting. The city's prosperity is now 68. It's starting to get exciting around here. Well, so let's check the Digimail first of all. How many Digimon to join? To locate the damaged part of the cable, we need to connect some information. Bring more Digimon to the town. We'll be able to get what we need. Good luck. So, I'm going to walk out the house because I think for that I only need 50 prosperity. So, let me go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Yeah, okay. You've been doing good work. We are now enough to narrow down with it, exactly where the chaos is damaged. Can you come to the Digimon's house and take a look at what we discovered? Okay. Oh, Lou, 
Douche, don't be a barnacle. Let our friend breathe. <laughs> you jealous, Himari? Me jealous? I have no idea what you're talking about. Spirited as ever, I see. Hey, there you are, Mire. How's your work coming along? I've drawn up a map of the cables that make up the network of the digital world. And you? We've conducted an investigation. We surveyed the townsfolk, new and old. If we check our knowledge of Machine Draymon appearances against your cable map, we should be able to refine our search for trouble spots in the network to a high level of precision. I agree. Let's get started right away. We've got it. Look here. The main cable and the machine Draymond sightings overlap perfectly. And the repair kit? It's ready. Here you go. The spot in need of repair is within Faulty X Machina. Good luck. We're counting on you. All right, so we have our next destination. We have to head to Faulty X Machina. Oh, all right. Go to Falcon Air, Faulty X Machina. A section of the cable needs repairs on the east towards Faulty X Machina. If you keep going there for Mod Cave. Okay. So a lot happened in these cutscenes. I want to talk about the cutscene with Kota at Mod Cave. Now, I had mentioned, like, in typical, you know, protagonist fashion, uh, Kota was kind of pushing his Digimon a little too hard. And the reason I said that is because, for those of you who might have watched the anime at one point or another, you might remember from various seasons, uh, season one and season three in particular, and there have been times when, or season, season one, three, I think Data Squad season five? Uh, either way, where the protagonist pushes their Digimon a little too hard and it forces them to Digivolve into something they're not supposed to. In Season 1, Greymon Digivolve into Skull Greymon. In Season 3, Geomon, or Growmon, or War Growmon Digivolved into uh, Begidramon. And in Season 5, Rise Greymon Digivolved into rune uh shine Greymon rune mode and that's just like a kind of common occurrence for a specific kind of digimon i believe and it's just kind of the uh, like the, the common trope they end up going with and then coda's reasoning for pushing himself so or pushing his digimon so hard it really resonated with me because i i it was it was something that was very very relatable um just because i i felt like a similar way at one point so I'm not going to go too much into detail on that, just going to see what's here. But, um, yeah, like, when he was talking about it, I was like, wow, this, this hits, this hits real, real close to home right now. So, I was like, it was definitely understandable what he was going through. Uh, but yes, he was being stupid. <laughs> and then on top of that, like, after feeling like that, like, I was like, oh yeah, no, this, this is relatable. And then, immediately after that, Mamio just goes, yeah, no, you're stupid. And then, like I said, on top of that, I was like, he's not even the main character of this game. So, like, he came here, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm playing a second fiddle again. I was like, mm, it's like, well, you're not wrong. You're not the main character. I am. I mean, like, you have an important role in the game, but, like, I'm the main character. <laughs> so, I was like, ugh. But yeah, there's just a few things that I wanted to, to talk about right now. Anyway, uh, I'm going to finish up my dailies real quick. And then we're going to head out.
I know I said we were going to head out, but there's some Digimon in the city we need to talk to. Like Pyeljimon. Finally, I've been waiting for you. Be happy, can you know? This is where DNA Digivolution is possible. DNA Digivolution? It's a special form of Digivolution where two Digimon become one. If it's a good combination, I can perform a DNA Digivolution ceremony for you right here. You don't want your partners to merge? Yeah, that's a typical reaction, but... You seem to have strange powers. The two will remain even after DNA Digivolution. That said, one of the two shared powers during the process will end up with less after. Simply put, one will revert to an earlier stage in Digivolution state. It is not without risks. If you're okay with that, I'm ready to perform the ceremony. So, if you have two Digimon capable of DNA Digivolution, when you talk to uh, Pyeldramon, you can DNA Digivolve. I've decided to show you the way here in this place. Call upon me when you lose your way. I shall shed light to the path of Digivolution. As an offering, I require but a few Digivolution items. So basically, what Antilamon is saying is the history chart. Oh, I can't really show it right now, but uh, if I go to field guide, speaking of field guide, I also want to check the Skull Greymon, because it's either Hand Hand or Darkness, I don't remember which one. It is dark, okay. You'll see something that's locked up there. So, let's take a Digimon that I Digivolved into and once before. So let's take, let's take uh, Black Eye, well, let's... Okay, the Black Gobblemon. All right, we know we can dissolve into Guru Ramon and Saber Dramon. Basically, what Antilamon can do is reveal things about the Digimon that you can dissolve into. So, if you remember, uh, you know, there were all a bunch of different requirements, you know, like victory conditions, uh, training failures, HP, MP, strength, stamina, etc. By giving Antilamon Digivolution items, you can see it'll unlock those things on your Digivolution chart, so you'll be able to see those in your history when you go to look at them. Now the downside is you don't get to pick which one or for which Digivolution it reveals it for. So in the case of let's say add Guru Rumon here, and let's say I wanted more information on on Guru Rumon Black, well I have to hope that it picks a one out of three, and then I have to hope that it rolls on the thing that I want it to roll on, right? So. It's a little, a little annoying. Well, it's a little can be a little tedious. You might be able to save scum for it, but I don't. I'm not sure if you can. Uh, you know, what, let me talk to you. I don't think these two can DNA evolve. Yeah, they cannot. So one thing, creature dojo grader might be able to help you with that. So, uh, research lab. We didn't talk to Stingmon either. Like this. Here? Hmm. I get it. Of course. What's that? Oh, sorry. I lose losing myself in my research so quickly. I'm looking for applications for energy refining technology based on the research and the tamer power. I would love to study your body a little bit uh, once you reach a certain tamer level. Let's start at level 20, okay? I believe I'm over level 20? Oh my. 23. What's that? Your aim level increased? Wow, so you're about level 20. Let me take a scan right away. Wow, look at this data. Miraculous power. You've been very helpful. Thank you for the incredible data. Take this. We'll get two MP chips for that. Well, I need to ask you something right straight away. Next time, come back when you're at least level 30. Okay, so when we have level 30, when we attain level 30, come back there. Um, is that all I wanted to talk to? I think that's all I wanted to talk to here. All right, and our lab upgrade has just finished. I figured I'd wait around a little bit for that to finish in the city, so I could upgrade upgrade something else or start working on something else. All right, so now let's head back to the builder, and I believe I can work on something else actually. Okay, yeah, we'll go restaurant level four. All right, so I have about twenty terror points. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to up. I'm gonna get the high defense so I can reduce damage by 100% when I'm guarding. Evolving type. And finally, the zeal injection for reverse type. I think that's good for now. Oh dear. The King Digimon is here on this map. Uh, it's a King Bodemon. 
But if I remember, uh, mm, I mean, it's only a Bodemon, right? But if its stats are too high, then it's going to hurt. I'm going to fight it. Might be a good way to end off the episode. Just get smacked up and clapped up by a giant baby Digimon. Guys, yeah, see this Digimon? And I just think of uh, that one dude from uh, from Rugrats. Like, Pickles? I'm hungry. Anyway, this is King Bodemon. Uh, I believe it has Muscle Charge, which is a insane move to get. Oh, uh, we do like zero damage. I'm not going to EXE this fight. I don't want to EXE every fight because that would that'd probably get pretty lame if I EXE every fight. Uh, I can also only EXE once, like I said, well, technically twice a day. Okay, well, it's also not doing anything, so. But I don't want to have to rely on EXEing every single fight. But it's there if I need it. I will have to use it quite a bit, though, depending on how high or low my stats are. And then there are some fights that are just kind of might raw need it. Okay, this one isn't doing anything. I, I was sure that it does something. Maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. I thought this Digimon actively attacked you, because maybe Digimon can attack. You said damage sponge. No, you do something, right? I forgot to mention it, but versus Rosemont in my notes, it said you can glitch Rosemont in place. And that's what I did during my practice run of this game when I was uh, when I was doing, uh, when I was practicing it to make sure I had, like, my notes ready. I just glitched Rosemont in place and she just didn't do anything. This is kind of like that. I, I'm pretty sure this thing has muscle charge and can attack or something. But it's a King Digimon. It's level 24. I mean, I get strength, money, large recovery disc, HP. Maybe, maybe it just doesn't do anything. I, I honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember ever struggling with it, but I mean, maybe, maybe it doesn't actually just do anything. Anyway, so here we are for where we need to be for the story progression. And uh, it's great because what this means is we have free reign of this area right now. To pick up materials, and that is just fantastic. So we can pick up all these materials. Elwood and Starwood, nice, nice, nice. Don't have to worry about pause buffering because of the orange or brown one here are dangerous. Although I do want to fight the Gurumon, or the or Solar Monitor on this side. I think a Gurumon are in this this part of the map. I do want to fight them because they do have a move I can learn, and a very, very good one at that. So I mentioned Muscle Charge uh, earlier. Muscle Charge is a very, very good move as it is a stat buffer move. However, it's a stat buff move, but it affects both partners. So while it only increases your attack and defense, increases the, the I'm sorry, attack and stamina, increases the attack and stamina of both partners so that you deal more damage and you take less damage. And that is just great to have access to. I'm just gonna finish picking up these materials here. There's one over there behind me, but this. Oh, Chrome Digizoid. Nice. A lot of these rare drops I'm getting, I don't even have the. Ooh, that's that's great. I don't have the appropriate things for them to uh, to show more frequently either. I only have the one for wood. So let's uh, come over and interact with this. No mistaking it. That's the spot we're looking for. Ready with the repairs? Looks like it's finished. Hmm. Confirming network restoration. We've done it. Transmission capacity should be restored. Is this a barrier? There was nothing in my sources about safeguards like this. Oh well. Now no one should be able to touch the cable. 
All we need to do is just transmit the antivirus program. Great work. Come on back to Gigimon's house now. And I think that is a good place to stop for the day. <sighs> we got quite a bit of things done uh, today, uh, story-wise, compared to the previous episode. So, it looks like you've completed the compare, repair. Good work. Be careful on the way home. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Later.